It must have looked just like this 80 years ago. Plopped in the middle of nowhere in the northern Edwards Plateau of Texas, Avenger Field looks largely the same as it did when the women Air Force service pilots trained here in the 40s. For the WASP reunion, it's even lined with T-6 Texans and other aircraft, like they would have trained in. It's hot and dusty, and filled with airplane noise, and sets the scene where these women would become pilots. The mood was one of admiration for what these women had been through and how tough it was for them to train in an era when they weren't respected for doing the same jobs many men were doing. The annual WASP reunion is 80 years on. The numbers of remaining veterans have dwindled. 14 are still living. Shirley Cruz is the only one who made the trip this year. Her bright smile lighting up the room, recounting how it was eight decades ago. But as the WASP leave us, the museum stands as testament to their service. Over the last uh, several years, they've been working really hard to fundraise and expand the museum. Erin Miller is the granddaughter of WASP Elaine Harmon. She led the fight to have WASP be allowed to be interred at Arlington National Cemetery. And she works to keep the legacy of her grandma and the other 1,073 WASPs alive. I really honor the WASP and their legacy. The reunion will continue next year, even if the WASP are with us in spirit only. This place will make sure of it. In Sweetwater, Texas, Jill Tallman, AOPA Live.